The EU's top court is finally beginning its long-awaited look at the bloc's so-called rule of law mechanism. Last December, all 27 member states agreed to link respect for the rule of law to the access of EU funds. But Hungary and Poland only agreed to this if they were allowed to challenge this new system at the Luxembourg-based court. The new legal measure is supposed to enable the suspension of EU funds for countries proven to be misusing them. But, as one MEP explains, this conditionality is not related to media freedom or the concentration of power. The recovery fund uh, concern is, is about how the European money is used. It's very simple. Good management of public money, it's European money. Uh, the fact that all European member states accept together to, to be in solidarity and those that have more give to those that have less means that we also share transparency on how this money is used and we also ensure that this money is used for the right beneficiaries. Despite pressure from MEPs, the European Commission has previously said it won't use the rule of law mechanism until the European Court of Justice approves it. But if and when it does get the green light, it will likely be used soon against Hungary and Poland, which could result in cuts to their funding. Warsaw and Budapest are already having their pandemic recovery funds held back over concerns about judicial independence and the fight against corruption. The next step, though, will be for the publication of an opinion on the rule of law mechanism, followed by the court's verdict itself. There are no clear indications of when this could happen, but given the urgency, the court is using an accelerated procedure. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, from Brussels.